Some of the biggest names in tech uh, still trying to recover from Monday's sell-off. Join us right now with his uh, picks, Dan Flax, Newberger Berman, senior research analyst. We've all been uh, wondering whether this is a dip, whether you buy on the dip, whether it's a falling knife, and the knife is going to continue to fall, and what's really happening here. So, Dan, take it away. Uh, wh- first of all, before we even talk about which, you know, what you'd buy or sell or do, where are we in this knife-falling scenario? Good morning, Andrew. I think we're, we're towards the latter stages of the knife falling scenario. There are cyclical headwinds that all the companies are facing, um, and that's going to continue, I, I suspect, in the months ahead. For these companies, and I, I see select opportunities uh, in a name like Apple, where they're executing well on their product cycles, I think Apple intelligence will really help to transform the, the, the device experience over the next several months. So you should have a strong upgrade cycle for perhaps 20, uh, iPhone 16, but maybe more iPhone 17 services, of course, remains healthy. If you look at Google, and, and I appreciate the, the dynamics with the antitrust ruling, but I think what will matter more for the stock over the next year is their performance in search, which remains healthy. And I think search is being transformed with generative AI. And so I believe that platform's healthy, and I think their cloud and YouTube businesses also will see strong growth. And I'll round it out with NVIDIA, where there are d- delays with the Blackwell platform. Design delays are very, very common in the industry, and their big customers and partners know about it. What matters, though, is that demand is healthy. Hopper, their current platform, is seeing very, very healthy demand. Their ecosystem remains vibrant. And really, this, this build-out of the digital and the AI infrastructure is in the very early innings, and NVIDIA sits at the heart of it. So I continue to like that name as well. What, you look at NVIDIA now, 98.48. 12 months from now, 24 months from now, what do you think this company's worth? I think the company's worth substantially higher than it is today. And I can't give you a specific price target, but what I would say is that what you're seeing inside their customers' environments, in the cloud environments, the customers are investing in NVIDIA solutions and they're realizing returns. On the other side, Inside enterprises, uh, you have a transformation of those environments. For example, you have digital twins in manufacturing. Uh, Drug discovery is being accelerated with NVIDIA solutions. Studies around climate detection, fraud detection, and financial services. So there's really a whole host of new use cases that are are, uh, are gaining momentum. And I suspect 12 and certainly 24 months from now, those will be a lot bigger. And NVIDIA will see that in uh, in their financial statements, and that will drive share price performance. What, what do you do with Apple? Apple's sitting at a very interesting juncture because you have the iPhone install base. It's continuing to grow. The ecosystem, the developers, that, that all remains healthy. We're in a difficult period in terms of smartphone demand. China, of course, remains uh, challenging as well. But what you're seeing through it is that Apple is continuing to redefine the user experience. Apple intelligence will do more of that. And they do it in a fun uh, differentiated and secure way, and it's, it's incredibly intuitive. That, I think, will drive better iPhone growth over the next several quarters. You take that, you couple it with services, you couple it with the iPad, Mac, wearables, which I think remains early. And I think their earnings and the free cash flow generation, this company generates over $100 billion annually, I think that'll be significant over the next 12 to 24 months, which sets the stock up well, in my view, at current levels. <laughs> 